is up my home prosy is reckless Riley here and today we are doing the second part to the train station tutorial as a quick review we did all of this right here in the previous episode all of this stuff just making that all and it took us a while but we did it we successfully did it and now we are working on the modules now this is probably gonna take a bit longer just so that you can kind of know how long it's gonna take as that took 20 minutes this will probably take somewhere between 20 minutes to a half hour. So, get ready to pause and play and pause and play. The first thing you're going to want to do is go two blocks away from the wall, destroy the two blocks, skip three, destroy the two blocks, skip three, destroy the two blocks, skip three. That way you have four little holes like this. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a block underneath each one, just like that. Next thing you're going to want to do is get your pressure plates out and put a pressure plate on all of them except for this one right here. So pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. So the very first thing we're going to work on is the uh, like the deposit for the carts. So put two blocks down like that, then we can just have that. That's where the redstone is going to be. We have that, 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 doot, 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 and pull it up like that and that and it should kind of look like that kind of like a scent sign then we should have redstone right here 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 let's just get right there 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 it's gonna be all right and over here we want to have three ticks then one with one tick and we want to have a repeater right like that perfect now this one we want to have a block going up a piece of redstone and then we want to have a block right there now for this one we want to have it like this and there's going to be a piston right on top of that one there's gonna be a piston right on top of that one both of them are gonna be sticky now you want to have a block right in front of this one right here and uh, you want to put a block right in front of this one right here this one you want to put a regular rail on it doesn't matter if it's going forward sideways Whichever way it's pointing, it can be pointing this way or this way. It just is preferably this way if you can get it like that. But that's all a north-south thing. It just makes it so you can't roll off. Then, if you want to test this out, you can just go like this. Oh, not like that. You just want to get higher up. Maybe just go above so it can fall right in. And when you want to deposit a cart, you go over here. You place it on the rail and you step back. And there we go. That way, neither the rail breaks, nothing breaks. Perfect. Then we just want to kind of seal that in by doing this. Just seal it right up like that. Just perfect. Like that. I like it. Now the next thing, this one right here is very easy. You just basically want to make a room like this. Oh, don't want that block. Doesn't really matter though. And we want to just make a room that goes like that. Perfect. And then you just want to put a regular rail at the bottom. And this is just going to be the overflow for if you put too many carts in. The next part is going to be the arrivals. Now the arrivals, you want to do the same thing where you do the redstone. So you want to break that. You want to put redstone on that. And this is going to go all the way out here. Just as kind of a setup to show where the pistons are going to be. We're going to do this. And then we want to put a sticky piston actually one more out like that and then we want to put a regular block then we want to do this bring it down to put another sticky piston right there break those three blocks get ourselves out a piece of glass regular glass not pain there we go like that and we want to have that perfect I'm liking this then what we want to have is we want to have kind of like a tower going on here so like that that, that, then we want to just do that. There we go. Now your tower should look just like this. So I have redstone going like this, this, just all the way across. Then you want to put a block on top of that right there just to separate them and put a torch on there. Then we want to put a repeater right here on two ticks. There we go. Now if we just go over here we can actually see what happens so if I step on this you'll see that it goes here there we go you can just see a clear view of it and you want to fill that up so that you don't have somebody stepping off or anything there we go this is the arrival so you don't want a top block there actually 
And just to make it look nice, we will pull it down. There we go. Perfect. Now we have a good looking thing. We can pull it up all the way to the roof. We're gonna wanna want that. There we go. Now this is the departures. Now this is where it gets a little ghetto, a little weird. I don't know which word to say, but it kind of has to do with where you place your rails. Now, um, we just wanna pull this around here. Oh, oops, that's not what you wanna do. Break that, get this over, get this over. You want to pull that out right there, but we want to make it down a bit. And this is because right here we have a feature that will actually detect if there's somebody in the rail. So you, you want to make sure that there's always somebody in the rail. And if there's nobody in the cart, it could screw up your train station or something. So we always want to figure if that out. So what this system will do right here is it'll figure out if there's somebody in the cart. And if there isn't, it will take them out. So you want to get yourself a fence post out. There you go, and you want to get yourself a pressure plate to put on top of that. Then, we want to put out this, like that, and just pull it all the way along. There we go, just all the way up to there. We'll probably be changing that up a little bit later, but for now, just pull this out so that's a three wide track that goes all the way along. This, the reason why it's three wide is mainly it's if you want to make this look nice, what I like to do is I like to put three windows right here. That way people can actually watch. And if you want to make that look nice too, you can also, that way no way you can really attack the rails or change around the rails or anything. Just put those windows there, that way they're just covered. And you want to add a powered rail right there. And then just put all of these as regular rails up to about there. Now we're just going to... We're gonna oh, we're gonna connect these, and we'll do it from the bottom here. And just bring it right up like that, and just pull it up. There we go. Now what we can do is we can put a powered rail, powered rail, like this, like that, like that, and we don't. Uh, and there we go. Now we just to be honest, we really don't need that to be powered. We can just put it like that. We can put a torch like that there we go and that is looking perfectly nice now that is all powered it'll go down there and you're probably just gonna wanna cover this in like a tunnel so that's just kinda covered that way when the person goes down it doesn't look messy or anything it just looks nice but we'll finish that all up later for now let's continue with the redstone over here now what you'll be seeing is you're gonna be wanting to have this like that and down here, you're going to want to break the brick or the block that's underneath. You want to put a torch like that. So that's just on the side there. Then you want to put a block like that and bring it. So that's like that. Just bring it, go lower. And then just put redstone all along here. That way, when we turn, hit, oh, actually. First, we need to just quickly put a block like that, just so that we have a second rail. This is where all the rails that don't have people in them will go. So as you can see, it'll switch to the other rail when somebody's on. But what we want is if a person goes through this, they will actually hit this when they go through. Uh, it won't affect them, it won't stop them or anything, but it will make it so that they'll activate this. And when they activate it, we want turning to the right. So if it's not turning to the right, depending on your north or south thing, if it's turning to the right right now, then just keep it how it is. But if it's turning to the left like mine is, what you're going to want to do is go down here, break this redstone, and add a torch right there. That way it's it's just been inverted. That way it's turning to the right. That way if somebody hits it, it'll go there. And it also doubles as powering this powered rail. If that it, So you just want to make sure that is like that. So that way you don't have to power that. And the next thing we're going to want to do is for these, these need to go to the box that actually holds the carts, but we haven't made that yet. So what you want to do is you want to find the spot where people will stand. So they will stand right here. So just bring that down two blocks like that. And then we want to put that and put that and there. So this is where we will put the redstone. This is where we will put the uh, repeater. And this is where we will put the redstone. Now just leave that as it is for now. And we will be breaking this block. And we want to 
just get the side of that redstone right there and put a block. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your actual block area that will hold the carts and this right here it's going to be needing a redstone right beside it so just put a block and put some redstone and this just leads off it kind of just shows where it is using different parts so you want to put that put that and you want to put a torch there we go now this is actually powered because um, this is on but when there are actually carts on it will depower it as we connect it farther by putting it like this put it like this and right here there will be a wooden pressure plate so just put that like that and put redstone like that perfect now right here oh right here we want to have a ladder so just put a ladder right there and we want to put a sticky piston right there perfect then we want to make a quick box just all around this actually first we're gonna make this right there like that perfect and just bring it up here now that is gonna be part of the box so we just want to surround this all all of it around so that nothing just so that the cart stay inside so we'll put that there we don't want to break and we don't want to cut off that redstone so just cover it up and there you go just almost done and once you're all covered up like that you're about good now we're going to quickly turn it to daytime so you guys can see better. So the next thing we're going to be doing, so this is all connected, this is all connected, that's totally good. So you can fill in those two blocks there, and we're going to be connecting this to the pi the piston to the redstone. So the first thing you want to do is put this, put that, and put that. So we're going to be putting a uh, repeater right there, some redstone there, and a block there. This is just so it doesn't intercept with that. But what does intercept doesn't really matter. There we go. And then just put some redstone there so it'll power the pressure plate when needed. Now that that is all connected, it should all work. So when I step on that pressure plate, it'll push the car out. If you really want to, you can put a block down here. But what, what, what this ladder will do is it'll hold on to it and just make it so that it'll hold. And there's some little problems if I put a block there, so ladders just work better. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is this is uh, the area where the carts will go out and they will go to the top here. So we want to make this turn here. So why don't we just put it like that. And we want to make it turn. So just bring it on up. And this is where, uh, this is where I was saying it gets a bit weird. All you need to be able to do is bring it up to this area up here. So actually, let's just wall this off, finish the walling. Just finish all that. Perfect. And once you have that all walled off, this is where the carts are gonna go. So just add this here. That's gonna be a block. Uh, and these are just gonna be here. We want to have a detector rail here, so you just want to have that for when we get up here. But this is where the cart destination is going to be, and you just need to make it so that this track here can get up there. Now we can just turn it around here and bring it up. And by the way, uh, it's it can it can be a bit messy. This train station is meant to be underground, but if you want to make it above ground, I recommend just kind of condensing it a bit more. This is just meant to work. It's not meant to be small. Uh, now, once you have that all working, just want to get that. Okay, so a little problem there. So, there we go. Now, we also want to have some powered rails, so I put a couple more, but I'm going to be putting more powered rails than you will, so 
if you want to save money, because this is probably the best, like, this is more useful in survival, though it's good for creative, too. Um, yeah, just destroy any blocks that you don't need. There you go. And I'm just going to add powered rails to wherever I see fit. There we go. And then just add your torches just to power them up right there. Oh, I already got a torch for that. So, once they're all powered, you'll see that it goes up to here. Now, what this is all about is it's going to be pulling out that block. So, what we want to do is want to add a block right here, put a sticky piston right there, destroy this block. There we go. And that one needs to be covered. And put a block right there. Put a torch like that. And, yeah, so that's right what you want. Put a torch either there, or what you can do is you can put that, that, put a torch there, and then... Yeah, so you just want to get it so that it's up like that. So, now that's powered, what will happen is if we just... Okay, so that's what I was just getting at here. You want the... You want this be right yeah there we go okay sorry I was trying to correct myself when I wasn't wrong okay so once that's all right and dandy there that is good and once you get yourself a cart what you will be able to see is that when you put that there this will disappear and you can make that fall down now just destroy that cart there and you'll see that that's all working now what we want is we want to be able to actually put carts inside here so destroy these blocks right here, destroy one of them, and this one right here is going to be kind of showing us how to do this, so, oh, yeah, so this is, uh, so basically you can put the cart like that, and what I recommend, just put that like that, carts like that, and then you can just destroy that, so you can just make this go around, that way it doesn't have to intercept with that below, and also, I forgot to do this earlier, but power that. You want that powered for sure. Now just bring that over here. And it's going to be going down over here. But just so that we can kind of get this all right, we're going to go over to our deposit area right here. And we're going to want to put this just below it. There we go. So we just want to bring this over here. Alright, so, once it gets to the glass, you're going to want to make it so that it's inclined, so that it'll land on an inclined rail so it knows where to go. This is the beginning of the rail over here, so we're going to be just putting a block there. This is the very beginning of the rail, so it knows that. But over here, it will just land in the middle of the rail, so we want to make it sure that it lands on the right spot. So just put it like that. Just needs to have one inclined, so just bring it over here and bring it up like that perfect now just cover it up with stuff a lot of powered rails is what I'm using definitely not something you want to do in survival there we go powered 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 a lot of powering here There we go. Just so, just for good measure, I'm going to make these powered. But if you do anything to that rail, you're going to have to just do this again. There we go. And to power that, you can just add a block right here and put a torch here. Or you can also, you know, I'm going to do this actually. Sorry for the change. There we go. So now that is powered, and we just need this powered right here. There we go. So now that's all powered. The problem we have now, though, is that what we need is over here, we have these carts. The carts that don't have people in them, we're going to want to put those inside of here bef uh, also. So if we want to do that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to just have... There's a couple different ways you can do it, but what we're going to have to do, or at least what I'm doing 
is just bring this around here. There we go. And just bring it around here, bring it down. All right. All right, actually, no, bring it down. <laughs> Sorry. And I uh, don't put it directly underneath that because it intercepted that rail over there. And we want to put it like, now that'll intercept that, like here. There we go. So now that we have that, put a rail there. And we can just do this. Really, you don't need to power all that. That's, yeah, it's still powered by that torch over there. So just add that, add that, and add that. And then you can just power this by putting a block underneath and putting a torch. And as you can see, it will all work. It'll go down that rail, and it'll go inside of there, and it'll be stored in there. Now that we have that all set, all we really need to do is just cover the roof and cover it up. So I'm going to quickly do that so you guys don't have to wait. Now once you've covered up all of that stuff and it looks all nice and everything, we're finally going to do our arrival rail, which is the final thing. But before you do that, make sure you go back to here and add two glass panes. I forgot to do this before, but it's a very important thing. It'll make it so that it'll land on the pressure plate and the ladder so that it can be detected and sent out at the same time. So remember, just put two glass panes right there. Now, what we're going to do is our arrival rail. So when you actually fall down, you're going to land onto an area down here. And what you want to do is an arrival rail. So you want to just make it so that you have some sort of rail here that will be the arrival, obviously. And you just want to make it so that it go spans across all 15 rails. All right, so now once you have all 15 rails all beside each other, you want to make one more block just across and you want to make this all power. This all has to be powered because uh, this is just the rail that it's going to be going on. So it needs to hit this and then go somewhere. So it will be powered by the torch uh, by putting torches just underneath there. And then we just want to put rails like this. And since powered rails don't turn, we can just easily do that. And you can connect them off later. And uh, yeah, so that's just the way of arriving and leaving. This is the rail that the people up there will land on. They'll land on this inclined one, so they'll go down. But then the people who are arriving back from that location will land on these and go up here. And depending on whether you're north or south, they'll either go this way or this way. But if you want to do it the same way I'm doing it, just make sure that you add a wall so that they bounce off of that wall and go the way you want them to. Now this is another part that just gets a bit weird because all you really want to do is you just want to make it so that the person will go up. So let's just make it so that this is like that. So we can just add a turned rail like that. And just make it go upward. And if you don't want to interact with the redstone, which I'm, I prefer not to do, just powered rail turn it, there we go, and just bring it up, and we're just going to bring it on top of the train station, that's the reason why we put the roof in, uh, so we can just know exactly where we're going to be making this, yeah, so that seems like it would go out far enough, so you just want to make it go up, there we go. And it can drive right on there. And this is the place that we want to bring it to. Wait, right here. This is the arrival rail. So they're going to be landing on top of that. And you might worry about the uh, redstone here, but you can just leave that redstone there. They won't really interact with it. They're going to be going super fast on this rail. So now that it's daytime, that I quickly did, you just want to bring this over so that it's just going along, coming across here. And then it just wants to end up on this part right here. So you just want to get so the powered rail going across. You want to make sure that a lot of it's powered rail, but as I said, I've said it so many times now, 
but you just use as many as needed. You don't need to use as many as I am. And you don't need pigs. That's one thing that's definitely not needed in this... Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Now, Mr. Piggy. Just... There we go. And all the way up. And just power all of the ones that you add. Or just... Yeah. There we go. Power all the ones that you add. And then... Once that's all powered... You can also do that, which can power them really well. At these places like this, what you could just do is... And then just add a block. And then what you want to do is just add tunnels around the people. So that they'll just fall like that. And by the way, if you really don't like that that redstone's doing that, that it's like kind of in the tunnel, they won't be able to see it at all. But you can also change it around so that it's... You can change it around so that it's uh, not affecting that. You can change it. I'm not going to do that now because we just want to continue with this. Tunnel. And tunnel is probably important because it's going to look really stupid if there's no tunnel. Because they'll see that they're on the roof. We don't want that. We want the sense of illusion that they're in different land. Like that. And I'm going to quickly finish the tunnel. That way you guys don't just need to see the tunnel. Just redstoning. Now once you are finally done all of that tunneling, you got all powered up, you are almost done. There's just three little tweaks that are kind of just me being forgetful. I had this by memory, so the little things I will forget. So right here, I put a sticky piston because that was in my inventory. You want to switch that out for a regular piston there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to the departure and you want to just find this spot right here, and you want to put a torch on top of that. And the last thing is right here, you want to make this on four ticks. There you go. And once you got all that done, we can finally enjoy our train station. So we, we so now that I can actually like go inside and use it, I'm going to pick a random rail. I'm going to put my cart inside. All right, let's put it right here. Come on. There we go. So now put your cart down, drop it in. Over here. Hop right inside. Go the right way. Go here. And now that we've gone to our destination, arrival system. Going up, up, it's dark. And there we go. Right here, we step off. And as it sees, there's no carts inside. But once I step there, there is now carts. And if I put too many in, they will all go to here. But I'm not going to do that. I did that for the demonstration video. So anyway, guys, I'm Reckless Riley. This was a long tutorial. I had to redo it a bunch of times, but I am happy to finally finish it for you guys. So hopefully you can make this in your own world. And hopefully it was easy enough to follow. This is my first long tutorial. Anyway, guys, I'm Reckless Riley, and I will see you guys later. Roll the dubstep! Oh, oh, oh.